Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out chapter 103 of Dragon Ball's manga. In this chapter, we're going to witness the ending of Gohan and Goku's battle, and then Broly versus Gohan. Uh, before I start the video, I just want to say 98.7% of the people are not subscribed to the channel, and a lot of people are enjoying the videos. So if you guys are loving the videos, please subscribe. It's really going to help me out a lot, and leave a like on the video and then comment down below what you guys want to see so with that let's get right into the video the strongest versus the strongest beast gohan versus ultra instinct goku conclusion controlled brawly unleashed this is gonna be one epic chapter as we kick off Dragon Ball Super manga chapter number one, my guess we is that Gohan Goku is definitely gonna win because he has more experience than uh, Gohan. Defending himself, to where even with Gohan not shown giving up, but instead having to go after his Cause, father, because because Goku trained his whole life on him, and uh, having to unlocked where Gohan was a power like Ultra Instinct, and, successful and uh, Gohan down, just like not only had resulted in sending like, Goku flying on down. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um. I, I, I don't want to like kind of like say something wrong, but Gohan did not train like that much than Go, uh, Goku did. So, I mean, it's kind of obvious who's going to win, which is Goku because he has more experience. He trained more and then he unlocked it by training and Gohan just unlocked it by looking at his daughter like getting hurt. Well, she was not going to get hurt. It was Piccolo who was like kind of doing it and then he just unlocked it. So I don't want to say that Gohan's not strong, but... He did not unlock the power like Goku. Crashing through the landscape and even going through several canyons and even through the entirety of one of Beerus's forests and having to barely hold on and clinging onto the ground to maintain his stability. But it also goes as far as to showcase the raw power behind Gohan's attacks and sending his father flying out this far to where even after the fact with Goku's body shown flying outwards before Goku was able to stabilize himself and acknowledging Gohan was when Goku then went on to respond. Wow, you're good, Gohan. Incredible potential as always, Goku says. And I mean, this time. Gohan does have Gohan does have a human and a Saiyan blood, which means that he has more potential than Goku, but he needs to train. Make it your own, and so you've changed a lot, Gohan, with Gohan responding, Yeah, well it's all thanks to Piccolo Dad. His real father. Dad, well, I see Goku responds. However, I'm no slouch either given the amount of training that I've put in. Yep, Upon yep. Goku having to immediately go as far as to say this with Gohan seemingly curious and a bit confused by what he had mentioned, it was only there where Goku had then began to levitate his body upwards by closing his eyes and seemingly getting ready to do something to where even he gonna Gohan do? having to look on and a bit curious by what his father is about to do with Goku being shown positioning his body was where shortly after Goku was shown closing his eyes before having to suddenly open them and having to speed blitz right towards Gohan's direction. That was when Goku's words were finally now oh. beginning to come into fruition as Goku had now gone as far as to speed blitz behind Gohan and kicking Gohan directly in the spine, which not only levied Gohan and being sent flying outwards, but Goku immediately in hot pursuit by having to teleport right in front of Gohan again, and from that point showcasing tremendous and impressive amounts of speed to which Gohan could not possibly That's what you get from like training. So it was immediately upon having to be shown getting in front of Gohan was when Goku was then shown double axe handling Gohan down into the lake below, which only had gone as far as to create that much more tension with Goku being shown on the surface and looking down by waiting to see what Gohan was going to do, as even in the waters Gohan, Gohan can't, can't win, like there's no chance focused, he's gonna win against Goku, point, bro. And then be shown appearing from out of nowhere behind Goku and doing everything that he possibly could to once again land another successful kick on him, but this time around, instead of having to acknowledge what Gohan was about to do, Goku instead had instinctively allowed for his body to move on its own which not only goes as far as to Ultra demonstrate Goku's thing. reaction time but also yeah. his speed on top of this but Gohan was not willing to let up whatsoever so instead what Gohan ended up doing was going back on the offensive and doing everything and anything he could to he land he can't win there's no chance Gohan's him. gonna but win with Goku now shown having to dodge each and every single one of Gohan's strikes upon Broly, Whis, Beerus and Vegeta being shown looking on was when Vegeta then went on oh to my respond God. that bastard Kakarot his ultra instant is steering the game in his favor, I see. Well, I guess there's indeed a gap in experience between the two after all, huh? Yeah, there Which is. This had only now proven to be the case with Gohan Th being... That's literally what I was saying in, like, literally beginning of the manga. 
shown again trying that Goku to has Goku more experience than Gohan, so Gohan in the face. like it's just pointless just of Gohan seeing who's gonna win. It's Goku, of course. A nearby stump and having to acknowledge his father afterwards was when Gohan then went on to respond. I see. So this is the power of Ultra Instinct, huh? That's right, Gohan. When mastered Goku responds, the body moves on its own, and so that's why no attack would hit. With Gohan responding, truly an amazing technique, Dad. Just as I expected. But Beast, Beast isn't, isn't quite, quite like, like that. that. Gohan ominously continues, as this was where the game-changing event was about to take place. Because with Gohan now shown erupting by raising his energy up more mm -hmm. and more and more and more, was when Goku had gone as far as to take notice of this because Gohan was now beginning to unleash his full power onto the surface, which was now starting to become a massive problem even for Goku upon having to see this as Broly I'm pretty sure he's just gonna overuse his powers and just gonna, like, gathering, he just gonna, says. like, I don't know, even with Gohan's lose? body shaking and quivering under the tremendous pressure that he's putting his body through was when Vegeta then went on to chime back in. That huge, massive key. Can you control it all, Gohan? To which, as Gohan was now beginning to pump out more power upon him, Yeah, I don't think Gohan can up, control them. only just then upon Gohan then shown having to let out a ferocious roar where he was then shown having to make his way towards Goku, but it was only done in such a way that it also had gone as far as to demonstrate the difference in speed between was what best. Gohan was then and what Gohan is now, as even Vegeta himself could not believe this upon having to see it, just as much as Goku was surprised himself before barely being shown having to avoid Gohan's attack, as even with Goku left baffled by this, with Gohan's attack being shown ricocheting off the ground and exploding out into the distance, this by no means did not slow Gohan down, but only had then forced him in having to attack Goku yet again, only interestingly enough with Goku- He's gonna overuse his body. Guard up and having to defend himself that's how he's gonna attack. that's how he's gonna lose he's gonna overuse Gohan's his body attack alone was enough to create shockwaves all throughout the landscape and even going as far as to push goku back but with gohan once again being shown having to resume his assault on goku in trying to attack him with goku yet again shown dodging each and every single one of his attacks was when the battle itself mm. was now beginning to become that much more dangerous and that much more intense than how it was shown being before wait did did gohan like ever like manage to control his beast mode like beast mode like did he master it or is he just like fresh off the bat from the from where he like unlocked it but it also now like let me know in the comments down below because i'm not 100 percent sure power, and yes gohan now was indeed at full power in doing whatever he could to try to get the best of his father had only further demonstrated how fast goku actually was by comparison to beast gohan because you can see it upon both of their expressions that gohan was really really trying to land a heavy shot on goku whereas goku was doing everything uh -oh. that he possibly could to make his sure he's ripping he was able to avoid these strikes uh, if you don't know what gi is it's the thing that Go, uh, Goku's wearing him because as we then begin to see how Gohan was beginning to graze Goku's ribs he had then began to graze his face despite Goku being shown avoiding everything with Gohan unable to actually touch him there became a point in time where Gohan was now beginning to slow you know what I would like to see Beerus, Beerus versus, versus Gohan to this to which upon Gohan then being shown seizing his opportunity and finding an opening to land a successful shot on Goku's stomach was where this had now become a very pivotal moment in the fight between the two because as soon as Gohan was then shown kicking Goku away was when even the others upon having to see this such as Broly and I'm kind of surprised well, like how like Gohan is body crashed throughout the landscape um, yet again so close to Goku's level right now haters left baffled by what they were seeing but even Vegeta himself went on to then chime back in he went past the evasive speed of ultra in ways we what That's right there you have it dad Gohan says to which as Goku was then shown zipping on up and having to re-emerge was when Goku was then shown shockingly enough having to revert back down to his base form by rubbing his face and responding ouch 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 Ooh, what the hell was that just now gohan well just as i was about to go berserk what? gohan responds i raised my key and controlled it well kinda wait about to go berserk goku questions and then controlled it currently this is the only way that i can draw out the max what? power of this goku lost gohan responds to which as goku was i think that i keep them up right back into mastered ultra instinct was when goku then went on to respond was when goku then went on to respond Respond. Oh, I get it now. Okay, so you've got a lot on your mind, huh? To which, as Gohan and Goku were then shown once again resuming, was when yeah, I was about to say, no way Goku lost Whis, that, bro. Son Goku's son, a Super Saiyan, with Whis responding, well, no, it seems a bit different, actually. And well, however, I will say that it's not a divine technique either, and apparently he is specially gifted. This Gohan is. Sorry to bother. Lemo went on to then respond, but would you two like some juice? Well, thank you very much. We 
Chase responds, Hey, you guys want to drink two lemon went on to then ask Carmine in 15? Oh, th thank you so much, 15 responds. Yeah, we'll, we'll have it, Carmine says. All right, and you two Broly Lemo questions, but Broly was not responsible. Oh, uh, Broly's gonna go after Broly one of them. He's gonna go after Gohan for sure. Battle involving Gohan and Goku, specifically enamored with Gohan because upon Broly being shown having to watch this was when Broly then went on to utter, wow, I didn't know that Look how much muscle mass existed. that guy got, bro. He's buff. During the middle of battle as Goku was shown having to defend himself and glancing on over and noticing Broly down on the ground was when Goku had then gone as far as to dodge Gohan's attack by from that point then being shown force blowing Gohan away as Gohan went on to land back on his feet right before attacking as Goku went on to then stop Gohan by then responding and all right all right all right that's it I've seen enough of your strength Gohan and it's really awesome Goku continues upon being shown powering I think down. I think Goku noticed only you could have gotten this far in one fell swoop and you did a great job Goku continues earth is now in safe hands even when I'm not there with Gohan uttering father you still have some strength left in you right Gohan Goku questions uh yeah well yeah bro is gonna go after him I'd like you to fight okay oh no never mind okay now you wait there all right hey Broly you want to fight Gohan for a while <laughs> don't you with a surprise Broly responding uh-huh really me which funny enough back with Carmine and 15 oh, <laughs> Goten and, and Trunks are still in the fat form Carmine then went on to ask um hey can we leave now which side is West City well well you can't leave by car because well we're on another planet uh another planet 15 utters which moreover with Goku now shown returning to Vegeta and having to then address him was when Vegeta then went on to respond are you sure no winner no loser with Goku responding well it was never about winning against Gohan no 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 just wanted to go and test his strength that's how you know Goku's like I will win if I actually were serious against him D I don't care what you guys say Goku is stronger than Gohan he is Goku is 1000% stronger than Gohan and there's no counter argument against it strength and I'm glad to have more to look forward to actually so tell me do you expect that from Broly as well Vegeta questions with Goku responding well I don't know and well besides I feel like they're kind of similar somehow you know Gohan and Broly I don't I don't know about Vegeta that bro I don't know about that man I don't think they're similar for engaging Broly in fact does give off that beast vibe now doesn't he Vegeta questions yeah and I hope that he goes and finds something to trigger it which as ultimate Gohan was then shown fighting base Broly this was in fact now the first time that Gohan and Broly, DBS Broly mind you, were ever shown having to interact within the Dragon Ball Super series, to where even with Gohan shown having to block off Broly's attacks before having to address him was when Gohan then went on to respond, Broly, I've heard that you're a very impressive fighter, with Broly uttering, show it to me. Show me that beast form from earlier, with Gohan responding, alright then, you asked for it. To which upon Broly being shown having to miss one of his strikes before Gohan was shown leaping on back and jumping in the sky. Is that his like? transformation thing shown transforming back into his beast form as Broly was looking on in absolute amazement he could not believe as to what he was seeing but even then with beast Gohan then shown making his way down before having to collide into Broly by punching him Broly's gonna Broly destroy Gohan clear that by no means did Broly have any sort of chance in matching I take that bad combat because it was even just as Broly I mean, he's in his base form bro strike with no way he's gonna win against beast Gohan shaky was when Broly then went he's in base <laughs> But Gohan was not done because with Gohan then shown punching Broly away before having to be on hot pursuit and chasing him down by punching him again, it was only okay. Gohan is using his body like way too much because first he bought he kind of like fought um Goten and Trunks and now he's then he fought Goku and then he and now he's fighting Broly so he's probably like gonna like what do you call it give up at the end when Broly if Broly does um transform into um his uh. I don't know what was his form called, but like if he transforms into his form, there's no way Gohan's gonna survive that because he's just gonna like fade away because he he fought like two people already. Just when Gohan was then beginning to land several more heavy attacks with Broly being shown in absolute pain was when the tides were now clearly in Gohan's favor and having to drop Broly before everyone's eyes as Broly had then struggled to stand back up with Vegeta then having to ask now what's next Broly he's Which gonna Broly transform to notice Gohan approaching him was when all of a sudden that was when Broly began to power up once again similar to that of the DBS Broly movie as Gohan didn't know what to expect because with Broly now transforming himself in being 
scene also shown knocking Gohan back before Goku and Vegeta had words to say was when Goku then went on to utter out, Oh, I knew that he'd go berserk! No, Vegeta says, look. To which this time around, something different was- Oh, he can control it! As he was only from that point then shown kind of smiling before immediately then being shown taking charge in attacking Gohan he can over control and over and over again. Which at that he point, can control he his berserk form. That's what it's called, I think. Holy's green hair transformation that we've seen in the film is not yet introduced within the actual manga, but is that what's called, it was no? only just the point, shockingly sure. enough, with Broly being shown attacking Gohan was when from out of nowhere we look at look at Broly's face. He kind of looks like Goku's face. He was just like get rid of that, that little scar scratch. He looks like Goku. So uh, I don't know if you guys seen the video. Like if you just remove the hair of Goku, Vegeta, and Broly, and like just like mix it up, they all look the same. Like, I mean, if you get rid of all the hairs, they all look the same. And the, and the get rid of Scar, too. Then spot pupils beginning to form on Broly's eyes, as Broly had now seemingly controlled his Super Saiyan form, with Goku then having to utter, Whoa, he's a Super Saiyan, but not with the white eyes this time! Well, that worked out. He went Super yeah. Saiyan and made it his own, with Gohan responding, What amazing power! It's unlike anyone's Super Saiyan form that I've seen before! Well, now, thanks to Gohan, Broly now seems to have achieved some growth, Whis. Yes, sir. Beerus responding, he's only managed to become a Super Saiyan, Whis. Son Goku's son seems to have better control over his powers than he does. Which, interestingly mm. enough, back over with Gohan and Broly, with Gohan being shown swinging Broly around over and over and over again <laughs> before being shown having to toss him out into the... No, Beerus' is tree! Destroying Beerus' is tree was when Whis then went on to question, tell me something, so does that make him another candidate for the next God of Destruction with Beerus responding, no, not him. He's the serious type, and so he wouldn't resort to destruction. Well, you are correct. So probably Vegeta so then, huh? Even then, as the fight becomes that much more intense, with Vegeta being shown looking... Oh, yeah, they're finally untransformed. Vegeta then went on to shout, Oh, hey, it's time that you let me go and fight too. Gohan, fight me. You've had <laughs> enough with Broly already, and so fight me. With Gohan responding, wait a minute. Why does everyone just want to go and fight me? Homie just said, a all of a sudden with trunks responding well then how about we go and fight broly then i take that back huh? with i take that back i'm really sorry i okay. take that back which only from that point had then prompted trunks goten and vegeta to be shown dashing on in with goku being shown left behind as goku then went on to shout Whoa, what the hell oh, well then count me in too then damn it wait to which seconds later with goku then shown having to dash towards the midst of chaos as interestingly enough if you pay attention to vegeta and gohan instead of turning into ultra ego it almost now appears as though Vegeta is fighting using Super Saiyan Blue while Goten and Trunks are fighting Broly in base, which had only then prompted in Goku showing up from out of nowhere and having to scream in everyone's face as Whis went on to then respond, oh my goodness. They're gonna oh, destroy can't. everything. Don't look at this anymore, Beerus went on to then chime in. These Saiyans, Sheila chimes in. I can never Oh no, go plan is destroyed, bro. Should you hit me, Goten? Trunks went on to then shout, oh, I didn't know it was you, Trunks. To which even then as this massive battle Battle Royale was shown having to happen on Beerus' planet for X amount of time. Later on, we get to see how everyone was laid out uh, on the ground, exhausted, tired, and beaten, as Goku then went on to respond, Wow, that was a wild fight now, wasn't it? Yeah, Gohan responds, it's been a while since Damn, they, they, bro, part. they destroyed everything. All right, well, I guess we better get going then, Goku says, with Lemo then shouting, Hey, I made enough food for everyone. How is Beerus so not angry? Eat it before you all go home, to which moment Moments later, as everyone was then shown having to do so, not only was everyone shown having to eat at the same time, but they also went as far as to invite 15 and Carmine as well. And Gohan got his glasses ask, back on. Uh, so, who are you guys anyway? With Gohan being shown responding with a mouthful of pasta by then uttering, they're from the Red Ribbon Army. What's that? Vegeta responds. Well, maybe they're up to something evil again, so I'm keeping my eyes on you. No, 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 no way. Uh, we actually came to apologize for the other day. Oh. Are you sure? Oh, my Whis fixed up everything. Casually respond upon Whis being shown restoring the planet. To which a little later on, after everyone was done eating food with Carmine 15, Trunks, and Goten being shown entering into the car as Goku went on to address Vegeta, was when Goku then went on to chime back in. Well, I'm taking these guys back to Earth, but I guess that you and I should go home too for a while, huh? Mm -hmm. With Vegeta responding, You're right, and so I better get home or Bulma will forget about me. With Goku then continuing, Beerus, we see ya! I'll make sure to go and come back soon, okay? 
with Beerus uttering, yeah, don't, don't come, come back. back. Well then, someone besides Gohan who has great key is Piccolo. Piccolo. Alright then, let's go. To which as Goku was then shown using instant transmission and having to teleport near Piccolo was when Goku then went on to shout, Yo, Piccolo, long time no see. Goku, what's with you guys all of a sudden? Oh, it's you. You guys never learn, do you? With 15 and Carmine responding, N -n -n No, it's nothing like that. Um, is hey, is this Earth? This is Earth, right? <laughs> they get their butt kicked, bro. Yeah, you're right. This is Earth. All right, time to go. Time to go now, Carmine shouts. Start the car quick and let's go. To which that was exactly what 15 ended Apologies. up doing. Because with the two of them being shown having to start up the car and driving off by them being shown apologizing was when Piccolo then went on to respond. Oh, uh, apologize. I thought. <laughs> Apologies. So Piccolo asks. Oh, it's true, Goku utters. You're indeed different from the Piccolo that I've seen. Well, yeah, Piccolo responds with Goku then questioning. Can I test your new skills for once, Piccolo? Well, oh, my. Oh my god, bro, Goku did you just pick up finish Pan fighting? Go on now, uh, Pan? And this went on to surprise everybody because with Goku unaware as to who exactly Pan was, was when Vegeta then went on to shout, This is the worst! She's your granddaughter, remember? Oh, uh, yeah, you're what right. What the hell's wrong with you, Goku? Oh, no, Goku, as punishments, you're coming with me to go pick her up, alright? Oh, of course, Goku says. Which, interestingly enough, when then going back to Carmine at 15 and noticing how they also had a change of heart upon having to be on Beerus's planet was when Carmine then went on to respond, no more red ribbon army, you got that? Uh, right, right, Sir 15 says. After all, Carmine continues, we wouldn't make a single zenny by conquering the world, and That's so true. from now on, I'm going to stop doing useless things and only focus on developing drugs, and so let's uh, do this. Uh, uh, so we're moreover on uh, a much brighter that's side. That's not better either, to okay. And Piccolo from there and having to be shown picking up Han from school, Han was absolutely delighted upon having to see her father in jumping right into Gohan's arms. However, even while in Gohan's arms, she couldn't help but happen to notice Goku and having to then be shown letting go by pointing out and asking about who he was. It was only before either Gohan or Piccolo could go as far as to explain to Pan as to who this individual was, where Pan had decided to take initiative and take action by her own accord in quickly teleporting in attempts to attack Goku herself, as even before Goku could go as far as to say hi himself, he also had then quickly noticed <laughs> that Pan was on the move in attempting to strike him, this so is, Goku this, ended up doing this is amazing. Instead, was in a very lighthearted and touching moment, Goku went on to block off Pan's strike, this is amazing. Goku shown turning his head and smiling, as this in and of itself was enough to make Pan realize as to who exactly Goku was as Pan began to smile herself, which even then with both Gohan and Piccolo also shown smiling at this wholesome moment before Goku was shown wholesome. getting down on the floor with Pan and getting ready to take off, you can also immediately tell that Gohan did not know as to what Pan and Goku were about to do before having to be shown taking off into the distance as Gohan <laughs> went on to follow. <laughs> They're with racing. Gohan trying to play catch up and with Piccolo shown turning around and smiling before having to wave and also taking flight and having to catch up with the others, it was only right then and there now during that moment where Dragon Ball Super manga chapter number 103 then comes to a Oh close. my god, now, that was amazing. Was Man, that was a really amazing uh, chapter. That, actually, that was the ending was really wholesome uh we got to see everybody fight it was amazing uh, i kind of wanted to see beers fight gohan too but i guess that's not gonna happen until uh later on in the series um so if you guys enjoyed that video make sure to leave a like and subscribe remember only 98.7 percent of the people are subscribed to the channel please guys subscribe to the channel if you guys are enjoying the video and make sure to turn on the notifications so you never miss out the video and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace out